What a wonderful day to learn something new and open up your imagination. So sit back and relax, cause Story Garden is about to begin. Hello everyone, and welcome to the Story Garden with your host, Miss Diane. I'm so happy you're here with me today. We have a special guest all the way from Nova Scotia, Canada. He is a famous YouTube star. He reviews books for all of us, and he does an amazing job. So let's welcome the famous Wild Willie, who does the book review. Here we are. Hello, Willie. Hi. How are you today? Good. How are you? Fine. So it's about a little after 10 here. What time is it in Nova Scotia? It's 12.17. 12 17. Oh, it's lunchtime. You must be starving. No, I already had lunch. So. Oh, okay, good. <laughs> well, I am so grateful that you're here in the Story Garden. I feel very privileged to interview you. So, boys and girls, the way we met was through YouTube. And I woke up one day and received an email from my publisher who said, you're famous, you're on the YouTube, Wild Willie. And I was like, what? And so I watched you and I want to tell you that A, I was uh, so honored that you read my books and you did a review on all three. Thank you so very much. And I got good reviews, <laughs> so that was exciting. I was a little scared until you told me I passed. <laughs> uh, but mostly, I was really impressed with you. Now the teacher in me is coming out, but I want to take this moment, uh, boys and girls, Wild Willie is an inspiration, so I really want you to um, go to his YouTube site, which I'll share with you in a few minutes. and. Um, and be inspired because um, Wild Willie, the way you talk about the books, your energy, and your love of books really comes through. And that is an inspiration to everyone. So thank you so very much. Thank you. You're welcome. So I understand today you have a story to read in the story garden. Is that right? Yes. yes. And what's the name of the book? Uh, the book is called Sending You Sammy. Uh, can you say it one more time? Sending You Sammy. Sending You Sammy. Well, that's exciting. And who wrote it? Uh, Sarah, which is my mom. Ah, hi, mom. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, without any further ado, because the kiddos are all ready to hear from you, I am going to step away and let you read. And then I'll come back on when you're all finished. So make sure you say the end. No, I'm just teasing. Okay. Oh, there's that smile I love. Okay, here we go. Sammy's birthday is celebrated with family every year on May 20th. And he always has a wonderful time. There's always ice cream and cake, balloons and games, as an only child, grandson, and nephew, Sammy is one lucky boy. On his 10th birthday, however, he chose grapes instead of chips. He asked his mother for watermelon instead of candy and for juice instead of pop. Sammy even chose to play bobbing for apples with his friends instead of pin the tail on the donkey. He grew up a lot that year and wanted to grow more by eating even more healthy foods. His mother was proud. Sammy's birthday cake that year was fruit salad. His party was as wonderful as ever. When he went home, he moved all of his gifts to his room. He began by putting books on shelves and his toys in his toy box. 
clothes were neatly folded and put in drawers. He reached for the closet door to hang up his new pants when he heard a strange sound, like someone moving behind the door. Slowly, he reached for the handle and turned it. Hello, Sammy. Happy birthday, the man said. How was your day? There he stood, dressed in black, except for his white shirt. Even his hat was black. Sammy had met this man before, so it didn't take him long to know that standing before him was a magician. He had only seen them in books before, never in person. How long were you in there? Why didn't you come to my party? I have come only to see you. Let's sit down and talk. Sammy sits in his beanbag chair, and the man sits on the bed across from him. Everything was happening so quickly that Sammy had no time to be frightened. The magician began, My boss had me watching you for a while, and we both saw... We were both very happy with what I saw. You watched me. How? I don't have much time to explain, my boy, but I want to ask you for your help. It is a big deal, I won't lie, but I think you would be quite pleased with my offer. The magician reached into his bag that Sammy just noticed and produced an unusual-looking outfit. He asked Sammy to stand and held up the outfit to him. Am I supposed to wear that? It's too big. Ah, but you will grow into it if you keep with your eating habits. You will, won't you? Keep eating fruit? Yeah, no problem. But why the suit? Every superhero needs a disguise, he said. Sammy smiled. His eyes suddenly became bright, but he had more questions. You want me to be a superhero? How? Why me? What would I do? As a superhero, you will gain tasks as you grow older. And the task will become harder. What you do will depend on what you are able to do. I will visit when you have earned a new power and instruct you as to your next task. You cannot fail a task, so do not worry. Even if you need help after you've tried the task several times, you can take a break. Just go out with friends to do schoolwork or take a few days off. I still have to do homework. By day, you'll be the same old Sammy, so yes, you will. You won't be able to tell anybody of your assignments, but it shouldn't be hard to do, because when you become the superhero, no one will remember what you do. What will my name be, Sammy asked, glancing at his new outfit. It looks like a ripening banana to me, and so you'll be named Banana Boy. Yes, I like that. I'll do it. I thought you would. There's only one more thing for me to tell you, and that is your first task. Your friend Jason hasn't been eating very many healthy foods, and your job as Banana Boy is to change that. Your party was a good start for him, but we need this to be an ongoing diet for him. His parents want him to eat a lot healthier by choosing fruit more than junk food. This should be an easy task for you because you know him, so go forth and I'll be back in no time. And with that, Sammy was alone. The magician simply disappeared. The boy checked the closet, empty. Sammy turned to look at his clock, 9 p.m., time for bed. He changed, brushed his teeth, and went to bed. The costume was still lying in his way, so he reached for it. The banana suit came alive. It undressed Sammy, and soon he was wearing it. What just happened? Amazingly, the suit responded in the magician's voice. All night, you'll become Banana Boy. You will no longer need sleep as a superhero. Your parents will no longer check at you at night. Don't worry. Also, will you talk to me all the time? I can't, but it won't be often. I can, but it won't be often. Now, Jason is waiting. He is alert, but not really awake. When he agrees to do what he agrees to do, he'll do. If he doesn't agree tonight, you'll go back. He won't remember your visit. At school, he may tell you he had a dream about a superhero, but it will not be detailed. You can't tell him anything. Good luck. Sammy chose to be adventurous and climbed out of his first story window. He was grinning ear to ear. He began walking down the streets towards his friend's house. His walk was faster than normal. He arrived at Jason's house in no time at all. He stared at the front door. He tried the handle. Locked. Sammy was about to ask his suit what to do when something incredible happened. The door opened on its own, and then he seemed to float inside, up the stairs and into Jason's room. 
As the magician said, Jason was waiting. He was sitting on the edge of the bed, staring at the wall. Banana Boy's job began. He sat beside Jason and said, Hi, his voice now deeper, like that of a superhero as he saw in movies. Banana Boy kept talking, even though Jason didn't seem to be responding. Chocolate is only a snack. Fruit is delicious and will make you strong. You can choose between melons, berries, apples, and oranges. Your schoolwork won't become easier. Your schoolwork becomes easier. You'll have more energy. Gym classes will be easier because you will run faster and jump higher. Chips are okay, but they're made out of potatoes. Just eat your potatoes at supper. Vegetables are not scary. Carrots, corn, cucumbers, and mushrooms. All fun things to eat. I'm not scary. I'm cool. I'm a banana filled with nutrition. I'm Banana Boy and here to help. Please, please promise you that you will try. I promise, Jason said with a smile. Shake on it, and they shook. The banana boy tucked him back into bed. He hoped his words got through to Jason. All he could do was wait. He returned home floating back this time. The night passed faster than Sammy had thought. Sammy entered his room. The alarm sounded for him to get up. He changed into his school clothes and went downstairs. Breakfast was served as usual. Sammy ate and then went to school. His parents never asked any questions about that night. At school, he met Jason, Jason, and it was, as the magician said, business as usual. The first break, he saw Jason was eating a banana. Sammy asked him where his usual chocolate bar was. I'm happy you asked. I had this strange dream, I had this strange dream last night. I only remember a banana being in my room. I woke up craving a banana and decided to have one, so here it is. Sammy was just finishing up his apple when the bell rang. It was time for gym. Sammy kept a close eye on Jason during gym, during class. He and the teacher saw a great improvement in Jason. They told him so. I feel a lot better too, said Jason. That banana was right. Sammy chuckled. Sammy at school ended and Sammy returned home. After a short talk with his parents, he went up to his bedroom. The magician was waiting for him. Sammy closed the door. Hello, Sammy said with a smile. Congratulations, you did as well as I thought you would. Thank you. Does this mean Jason will never eat junk food again? Of course not. He'll just eat a lot less, and that's all we can ask. He's still a kid. It's good that you've learned to use your first power, floating. It will get easier as you go and will increase in power. For now, I have a different power to give you. Strength. It won't be a great amount, like the floating ability. It will increase with experience, but you need strength to complete your next task. What is my next task? Oh, I'll be back in a few days to give you that. For now, just keep an eye on Jason, and with the mag- and with that, the magician disappeared. <clears throat> Sammy sat in the empty room and wondered, what will my next superhero task be? What a great story! And it inspires you to eat healthy, doesn't it? Yep. That surprised me. I was all ready for you to go save somebody. But this is all about taking care of yourself. Great job. Um, and great job to you, Mom. Thank you. You're welcome. Um, we'll have to talk some more about that wonderful story. What was your favorite part of the story, Willie? My favorite part was um, about how uh, it was Sammy's birthday, and he chose to eat healthier, and then because of that, the magician decided to make him a superhero. Oh, that, I, I love that, too. So, um, what do you have a favorite uh, picture? Um, well, I think this is actually my favorite picture. Um, it's the one where the magician comes into his room with the suit. Ah, yes. Lovely. And um, who is the illustrator? Uh, Do you know? We hired him from Argentina, actually. Oh, how and exciting. He did a great job, didn't he? He really did. Yeah, very, very. He didn't happy. speak English, so that was a obstacle to get over, but his work stood out. Absolutely. Well, he did a lovely job, and I think everybody should buy this book. Where can we get it? Amazon. We can get it on the great Amazon. And um, yeah. is the book on uh, Goodreads as well? It is, yes. Okay, good. I'll have to look for it and I'll definitely add it to my um, 
to my story garden. I might have to uh, um, order one, but then uh, mail it to you, get you to sign it, and then send it back to me. Absolutely. So I have another question for you, Wild Willie. Yep. How do can we order your shirt? Uh yes, we can. Um, it's on Etsy, my Etsy store, which is Wild Willie's Design. So I'm um, yeah. I'm adding a bunch of shirts um this week. So there's gonna be a lot more shirts and a lot of other um cool. things like this. And then there, this one has a white and black. So the white one has a YouTube logo below. Oh, I'll definitely have to uh, get a couple of those for my nieces and nephews. So you have your own store now. Yeah, I started it about, I'd say, close to a year ago. So, Wow, you are quite the entrepreneur. And I'm going to have to get your autograph when I come up to Nova Scotia. Can I do that? Yep. Oh, awesome. And when you and your mama come to Texas, I'll give you my autograph. <laughs> Texas is a really cool place. It's a lot hotter than Nova Scotia, though. Did you know that? Yep. Yeah, yeah. So you don't want to come in the summer too much. It's more like the fall. October is really fun. When does it start snowing up there? Uh, well, it's different every year, but last year it started snowing around, like, uh, late November, usually. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's perfect for the holidays, right? Speaking yep. of, before we go, just so the kiddos can get to know you a little bit. So in America, we, you know, Thanksgiving is all about harvest. And so uh, we, we being the U.S., uh, we started Thanksgiving with our ancestors who came from, uh, you know, from England to the U.K. and Denmark and places. And so harvest time was closer to the same time as, as you in um, Canada. And so that's how Thanksgiving started was people always gave thanks. So when they came back to the new uh, country, Canada and the US, um, they also gave thanks. But as our country kept growing, then eventually Abraham Lincoln made a national holiday so where it could be kind of a harvest time for everybody. And so we do November. But I believe your Thanksgiving, if I'm not mistaken, so tell me, it's in October, correct? Yep. In October, yes. And um, it's a wonderful time um, to have a, a harvest time. So maybe one of your superheroes could talk about um, the harvest time in Canada because I think it's fun to know when other people have their Thanksgivings. It's really great. And the food up there is phenomenal. <laughs> so, well, I really appreciate you sharing this story with us. I hope you'll come back to the story garden and share another story. Would you be willing to do that? Yes, definitely. Great. And um, also, either right now or in an email, if you would like to uh, share with me some books, and if you have one in mind right now for your uh, age for me to read, that would be great. Well, a really um, good one that I was thinking of is O.C. Daniel by Wesley King. Ah, what's that about? Um, it's about a, um, well, it's about one kid mainly, Daniel, but there's a lot of other characters and actually, one of the characters, Sarah, in the book, he just wrote another book about um, Sarah and Search for Normal. So that book's, like, not in a series, but it connects with a lot of other books. Good, uh, good, because I have more people viewing the story garden that want some older books, too. So I'm going to be doing both age groups. So I really appreciate you telling me because you are the YouTube star a book reviews, so I'm going to uh, rely on you quite a bit, okay? Yep. And before you go, tell everyone how to find you on YouTube. Um, so my channel is Wild Boys Book Reviews. So this is the one where I review books and do interviews and things like that. I have another channel, which is just like one of my videos is just playing the piano and doing other fun stuff other than book reviews. So... That one's Wild Willie's World, so, yeah. 
Oh, I'm going to have to have you back and tell me about Wild Willie's World. I did not know this. You were holding out on me. Wow. So you play the piano. Yes, I do. Do so when I come up there, maybe we I sing. <laughs> so we'll have to do a little routine together. How's that sound? Good. Good. Well, um, thank you, and Mama, thank you, and your wonderful story. And till next time, I'm going to and have you back. Would that be okay? Yep. So I'm going to sign off, and but don't you go anywhere. I'll see you in a few minutes at backstage. Does that work? Yep. Thank you for having us, Diane. You're welcome. Thank you, Wild Willie. Thank you. Well, everyone, wasn't that exciting to see and meet Wild Willie? And we heard that he has another YouTube channel, Wild Willie's World. Whoa! I am definitely checking that one out, and I hope you will, too. How exciting for him to have a mama who's an author. Now I know why he's inspired reading. He has a famous uh, Nova Scotia author. So I will definitely have to interview her as well. I hope you get that book. I hope you enjoyed him reading it. I know I enjoyed it. And I'm going to keep watching him over and over because I loved that story so much. Well, boys and girls, it's time to go. But remember, always to embrace imagination. Till next time, have a great day.